Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Hit the bell, subscribe. We have new content coming out daily. Make sure you subscribe. God bless you guys. I do want to get your initial reaction, Darren, the significance of Tucker Carlson tonight. Obviously, Tucker's still alive and he'll do something, right? But Tucker Carlson right. tonight being over, what is your reaction? Well, it's certainly a major blow. And of course, I have to assess how... Um, <laughs> how candid I want to be in my reaction, because there's a lot of things to say. So I guess initially I'll just say that, look, Tucker Carlson was the only person on American mainstream television who was willing to step outside of the playpen. I understand that there are mm -hmm. some exceptions, but for the most part, that's true. And I'm not saying he wasn't just willing to step out of his playpen relative to, um, you know, the left or the right, he was willing to step outside of the playpen with respect to American media as such. He was the only person with the guts to challenge the story about Assad's chemical weapons yes. attacks that were being used as a pretext to basically launch the war that Hillary Clinton desperately wanted but never got because Donald Trump was elected. Mm -hmm. In so many areas, he was willing to touch the actual serious issues that nobody else would not the oh look at what AOC was doing or this or that and even a lot of like the trans po political um, popcorn he resisted even, political popcorn yeah. look and you know I'm not I think the trans stuff is ridiculous too but it's kind of still in the playpen like everybody can talk about the trans stuff and be like oh how outrageous that is yes it's outrageous He's willing to go further. And one of the things that he was willing to touch, and he touched it early on at great risk to himself, was the January 6th stuff. He amplified Revolver News' reporting more than anyone else. And he was basically the only person on Fox who would dare to have me on. And I'm not the only case. There are other people who they wouldn't, you know, nobody would dare let them on any other Fox show. But Tucker would have them on to say things that you won't hear anywhere on American TV. So mm -hmm. he was an anomaly. In many ways, he wasn't supposed to exist. He was a glitch in the system. Somebody saying the kinds of things that he says is Can't not supposed that. to be on American primetime television. Nope. It's not supposed to happen. And I suppose for that reason, um, his time was was limited to begin this with. Is, this is a huge blow. I yeah. mean, again, yeah. Tucker will be stronger than ever. The narrative is now going to be harder for us to move. It just is. Fox News had grandfathered cable news contracts in 115 million homes. Tucker was pulling between 3 to 7 million people a night, upwards to 10 yeah. million if you count clips and social media rewatches and YouTube. That's 10 million people. That is Overton window moving stuff. Not to mention nearly every Republican lawmaker would watch Tucker Carlson at least once a night. Every Republican governor on and on and on and on. It, and they so that watched him and you will look, he was a rare source of accountability. That's exactly you know, right. When, when some senator or congressman or governor was stepping out of line with some outrageous Boom. stuff. He he would get him right one back in segment there. on Tucker. One example, a great example. So Ted Cruz, you know, a, he's not altogether bad. Sometimes he's bad. Sometimes he's good. He wasn't talking about the Ray Epps stuff. He wasn't talking about the January 6th stuff. It was just serendipity. No, it was worse than that. He praised he the police. Be, Remember that? Yeah. You know, he, pra he praised, it was some sort of weird thing where he said, thank you guys for protecting us. He didn't say insurrection, but he said like no, a no, terror but, attack, right? He said right, something like and, that. But he happened to be on Tucker right after me one night, and I was talking about Epps, and just as the segue, he was asked about Epps, and he was basically put on the spot and forced to address the Epps issue, and that's what ultimately elevated it even beyond sort of Tucker's sphere into the more kind of mainstream conservative realm. So there's so many different ways in which Tucker would put people on the spot, force them to kind of take a take a stance on something that otherwise they wouldn't by calling them out on his show. And he was a very important and extremely rare source of corrective motivation on the right. And I really I, I can't think of any other example of somebody with that kind of influence.